8 30 at night this is not our normal time no <laughs> uh, but macy's no. in town yeah never normal macy's in town for a trunk show at arkansas yarn co so yes. we're hanging out decided we're gonna film a podcast Yes, yeah. if uh, you didn't know, I'm in Fort Worth, Texas, and now I'm here in Arkansas, Arkansas with them. Yeah. Fun road trip. Long road trip. Long road trip. Yeah. Long road trip. <laughs> Fun road trip. I'm here for a trunk show at Arkansas Yarn Co., which is going on now, right still. Now. Right so you now. can shop on uh, Lori's website. Yeah. Or her app. The trunk show's going to be, yes, you can shop it online or in store if you're local, and the trunk show will be live until the upcoming Saturday. So y'all will see this before. I've got a curl sticking out. <laughs> you look fabulous. I just saw it like touching. immediately hair touching. It's fine. We are it's okay. We are. I, I keep seeing this and I'm like, oh, what? Oh, thermostat. Okay, <laughs> yeah, oh, got it. We're good. Oh yeah, we're in a hotel. We're in a hotel. <laughs> yeah. We're in me and my twin sister's hotel room right now. <laughs> with an and audience. With them here. <laughs> very weird. Yes, we have our friend Olga and the twin, and it's very <laughs> uncomfortable <laughs> with an audience. With but twin. you know what? They're fine. Yeah, here we are. It's fine. Y'all yeah. know who sis is if you've been to Fiber Fest. Presley, but you know who she is. Yeah. Yes. Okay. If you're new here, now you're not new here because this was a lot. Exactly. <laughs> right at the beginning. So um, welcome to the group. Yeah. So that was your intro. We're two friends in central Arkansas. And this is our podcast, mostly about knitting, a little crochet, lots of vibrary things throughout. Yeah. But yeah, that's Fun us. Stuff. Yeah. That's us. I'm gonna start knitting because it's distracting me. That's a good idea. Yeah. Because I cannot focus either. And then we're just gonna be a shit show. Whew. Anywho. Is it not already? <laughs> we love the shit show. I think people like it when it's a little bit crazy in the beginning. It's fine. A little chaos. You're um, wearing knitting. I'm wearing knitting yes. and we're all wearing we should Some merch. merch. <laughs> That was a, such a good screen. Wait, yes, we, we gotta hold it. <laughs> I hate when my, I'm still like a year and a half in, still getting used to bangs. Bangs are a big adjustment. <laughs> yeah, for yeah. sure. Oh, goodness. Um, of course. And Maddie and I are matching water bottles. <laughs> oh my God, twins. Mine's oh, bigger because everything's bigger for in sure. Texas. <laughs> and I also have this one, but that's my dying water bottle. <laughs> for your dye studio. <laughs> it is, yeah. Not your Every time I'm like, yeah. It's going in her coffee with her. I am the yarn dyer, if you didn't know, behind Maze of Skeins. And it's when I dye yarn. outside, this is my water bottle that I can touch with my... This is not uh, this exact exact one. one. This is mine. <laughs> mine is a giant dent on the side. Love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> I dropped mine on my door Yours frame. Too. <laughs> nice. Nice. I dropped this one, but it doesn't get dense. I don't know if it's like a different, if the colors are different or something, but... I don't know. Yeah, mine's not dented either, surprisingly. Hmm. I've got four. Love it. Me too. I'm this not is not a water bottle podcast. It's it a knitting not. podcast. So. But if a Walla wants to sponsor, they can. Oh, oh wait, so that would cool. be incredible. I'm we into do, that. We do um, pr promote them a lot. We do love a water bottle. I'm wearing my Radvent cardigan from 2021's Advent with Woolly Mommy Yarns. And then the blue is Arkansas Yarn Co. for the cuffs and the hem. And I wear all day. It feels nice. It smells like me. Looks cute. <laughs> it's very cute. Yeah, and it was rainbow and fun, and it's cold today. So it was. Sweater. It's really cold today. Sweater weather. Mm -hmm. Sweater weather. <laughs> Sweater. Yeah. Um, but that's all I'm wearing, and we're all wearing merch. And now we want to what? Jump in. What did we finish? We knit some things. Assos. Do you have anything that you finished recently? Did you bring any knits? Um, I brought the knits that I was wearing earlier yeah. today. Um, they're right here. Yes, they are right cool, here. Cool. That's perfect. Um, because I threw this on because I didn't want to feel left out. <laughs> Love it. So I was wearing this today. This is also in Lori's shop and in mine, I think. Um, this is the Hipster by Hohi Locatelli. Yeah. Joji Locat. Yes. Joji Locat. Joji Locat. And, um, this is out of my colorway, Marigold. That's and a it's a worsted one. weight. And it's... Oh, wow. I wear it. It's a thick one. All the freaking time. Yeah, I love it's it really so much. Pretty. That's a good color. Mm -hmm. And all oh, things on sale. <laughs> and then this one is my favorite cardigan in the whole entire world, which um, is amazing. It's an amazing cardigan. Oh, um, it's my friend. Closer for this oh yeah, right? my friend Kristen Aston knit it, yeah. and it is my colorway. Call me on my shell phone, which is a play Call on. on um, thank you. It is the Drake <laughs> song and also SpongeBob the Magic Conch. It's, so it's like <laughs> a merge, very different references. It's a merge of like. Do you think Drake did that? Yes. <laughs> or do you think Spongebob like Rip Drake? Who had it first? 
but um, it's out of my call me on my shell phone and it's on my cashmere fingering base which is high roller it's really but good, um, it. yeah that's what I was wearing today love it, and love then it. I have um, some knit socks on Both for you. these are the DRK everyday socks knit by my friend Donna out that's of so my cute. book of spells so I'm not wearing anything that I knit it's all samples I love that so. I'm wearing knit socks too these are my journey socks and this is a Malia made it yarn <gasps> Wait, do those fall down when you wear No, bands? I love them. They, I've never had any trouble with them falling down. <gasps> I have like six pairs of them now. Because I just knit my first pair of shorties and I haven't worn them. Yeah. I mean, I wore them in my office, but I haven't like worn them with shoes. The yeah. construction of these is better than a lot of shorties. I like these a lot. And they're the a little tighter on the foot because of how this part comes yeah, out. Yeah, they're meant so, for like, like a lot of negative on. ease. Yeah. I like those a lot. Mm -hmm. I do too. These are like, like, good no show. show fine. Yeah. <laughs> totally fine. Um... <laughs> I only brought one more FO. My other two FOs, one, my Desert Vista Dye Works socks for March. There they are. Finished them. Um, those I gifted to my aunt. I went to Dallas. I'll tell more about that in the live section last weekend and made them for her for letting me stay with her and then left them with her. So those are done. Well, did you do Magic Peel or did you do the... Uh, I cut it on those. Oh, you I did an afterthought on those. Oh, well, the first time in a long time. Yeah. Yeah, I had done a Magic Heel for her before, so I wanted a different heel, and Betrayal. I was in the middle of a class, so Perfect. I was like, I'm just going to keep going and do afterthought later. Love so that's it. what I did. And then these are my Leo and Roxy work socks. I um, love those. These are fully ribbed, so very stretchy. For these guys, I did 60 stitches on a US 1 2.25 millimeter. Um, kind of just striped in the work sock sets from Leo and Roxy come with like the main and then two minis. So added that in. I did just the heel turn They're in so the blue, cute. I love which these. I really yeah. like. Such a cute design. And then a little stripe there. So love them. Those are for me. Oh, wow. I already wore them. I never knew that like fully ribbed socks, it was flat on the foot. I, I did not. That. Yeah. Cause I wouldn't, I don't think I would like to walk on the rib. So on the bottom of the foot, I, after my heel turn mm -hmm. i did knit on the bottom and then just rib on the top so the leg is fully ribbed this is half i love that for the fit it just feels good yeah so i love these i've already worn them a couple times so you're touching my dirty sock but I love it. good i love it <laughs> so yep and then i finished the baby sweater for Kristen. yay and we'll put a picture in here because you did take one right yes because yes. it's still at the trunk show yes it is with arkansas yarko where you can get macy's yard <laughs> yeah i dyed a sock Set with them in mind. Oh, I have that. Do you have it? Yes, I do. And it's called. Do you have it like in yes, this case? Yes, it right here. It's called something's massively wrong with us. Um, it. And it's incredible. You we'll hold it. Yeah. So, hold your baby. So yeah. Macy sent this to <laughs> us like last week, I think. I went ahead and knit mine up. So the baby sweaters, it was on the screen. But this is Kristen's set here, and it is available. They are in stock at the trunk show as of right now. I died a lot. I hope they still are. This is so pretty. Thanks. And my sister has a black light. Oh, and this can glows. You tell? Let me I get close. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna let you do that. It glows under black light. We're gonna put in a meta picture. She posted on Instagram. We'll put in a picture I'll, of it in black yeah. light. Yeah, I'll send it to you. I can Thanks. So. Love it. I so. wanted to knit mine too, but um, my Winder and Swift are under a massive amount of baby things. I should have wound it so before I, did I could it. not do it. <laughs> And um, y'all can order that from We Share or we Arkansas, share from Arkansas You can order it from Arkansas Yarn Co. on her website or on her app. Yes. So. Lovely. Yes. And mm -hmm. if y'all, if it's all sold out and y'all still want more, I will dye up a batch so you can Yay. see that on my website. That's exciting. Love it. Love it. And it's a, a 100 gram full skin and 50 gram mini. So lots of yarn. Yeah. That is a big <laughs> That's amount of yarn. That is a lot of yarn. It's good stuff. <laughs> well, I mainly do that because I'm like, y'all knit muscle burgs like nobody's business. Yeah. Or muscle burls. I'm sorry. And then you also knit socks all the time. So I'm like. You do both. Yeah. It needs. Yeah. It needs a full <laughs> and a 50. I love it. I love it so much. Um, what else have you finished, Kristen? Yeah. This is a Musselberg. Oh. I've heard, I say Musselberg. I've too. never said Musselberg because it feels like an accent thing, but I don't really know. Um, because we have like Pittsburgh. Yeah. And I'm like, we don't call it Pittsburgh. Yeah. You know? But I don't know. Um, so people say it's fine. Yeah. People there's a place in Texas it. called Pottsboro. And Pots, it's. But it's a B O R O, right? You know, I've never seen it. I think it is. I live right next to it. Yes. So, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, it is. The so, peanut gallery says yes. <laughs> oh my God. I went to the peanut gallery and I bought a shirt and I have a shirt that has the peanut gallery and I took a picture next to the world's largest peanut. Oh my God. I love that for you. That sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> it was cool. Well, I it was like a surrealist nightmare, but. It's cool. Um, this is my Musselberg with um, hypnotic yarn in the colorway Stormwatch. I think I had started it last time. I believe so. But it is done now. If you haven't seen the Musselberg, who are you? It is a two layered hat. It is all stockinette Amazing. in the round uh, with increases and decreases at the ends. It's by Soul to Teague and we love it. 
You use a 2.5, right? I a use, US 2.5? A US 2.5? <laughs> We have a debate over which is correct. She won't say 2.5. She'll only say 2.5. No, I say 2.5. No, I don't know which one it was, but we were very confused. You said 2.5, and, and I was like, you mean a 2.5? I'm a 2.25. I say both. You yeah. mean the same thing. Are you a B O L T H? Are you a both? Or are you a both? Both? You both. said both. Both. Yeah, I guess I say both. Yeah. Do you say milk as well? I don't, I don't know. Milk? No, I say milk. milk. When you said that, you were like, I say both. I was like, <gasps> both. What okay. do you say? Both. 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 You, you <laughs> add the L. She adds the L. I guess I added the L. I didn't know yeah. myself. But um, I love this hat. It's, it's a great pattern. Nice. It's going to my friend Jennifer once I get it washed and blocked. That's so nice of you. Yeah, because it's not really the color, it's and color. I have so many. And she was like, I love that color. And I was like, it's yours. Yeah. Now you have a Kristen hat. Yeah, she complimented that love note one time. And I was like, it's yours. Seriously. Take it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even weave in the ends, though. I was like, now it's a project for you. Okay, question. Do people ever seem tip to tip? Like sew it up in the middle? Yeah. Do you do? I did not understand ever... the concept. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Tip to tip. I was like, this is from the chatter section. <laughs> no, I'm wondering, do people ever seem it? So it's just like you can so flip it always like that. I don't know. Do I feel like it'd be harder to wash. Like, I don't know. No, I, I think, I think that people nicely. who don't use a soldus pattern do. Yeah. Because that's the way a lot of people who crank hats do it is they seem that's that really, together. Really on you. Because I I have an Addy king size. And when I crank tubes, it's just like the muscle yeah. bar, but like you flip it and I always seem it. Yeah. So I've never known. That's how a lot of people crank Interesting. hats. Interesting. No, I never have, but you could, I guess. Yeah, I think it's just a preference thing. Yeah. I like it kind of weird and floppy because I also don't, like Same. if you want it really floppy, you don't have to stick it all the way in. Yeah, you can just you like can move that way to your head. You know, you can make it look like a little More elf. like an <laughs> Edda than any beanie. Yeah. So, Ed and Eddie, that's perfect. No, that's what it is. Yeah. Anytime I'm like, do you want an Ed and Eddie beanie or do you want to fit it? Yeah, back? how loosey goosey mm -hmm. you want it. How so, I finished you that. Looks and great. then I finished um, <laughs> my romper from last time. This is the Pickles so romper. Cute. It is the zero to three month size. That is tiny. For the baby. And it has the little kangaroo pocket on. I sewed on crooked. And I'm so mad oh, at it, but I don't really care that much because it's you know, she's gonna wear it like once, you know. Yeah. Um, and I haven't blocked it or washed it because all of that is also under a sea of baby things. And that, oh my god, <laughs> isn't it gosh, cute? So cute? It's so tiny. And then I made up this headband pattern because I had extra yarn, mm -hmm. and okay. so I knit this little right headband now. pattern, which I looked up just like sizes and was like, this will fit a zero to three month too. Um, but it's zero to three month is like. It goes away and like that. Yeah, so I'm like, she can wear it once. It's fine. It yeah, perfect. my niece, I went crazy and bought like 50 <laughs> outfits for zero to three months. And I'm like, oh, she's outgrown them in a week. Okay. So this is how I did the headband. That's I just so kind cool. of stitched it in and did like two balls at the end. I started at one end, increased until I got it to how big I wanted the bow part. And then decreased down and then increased back up and did the opposite on this side. Yeah. And then when you tie it together, it looks like a bow without having to actually have a bow. And it's really cute. It's really smart. It was really easy. That is so smart. And um, I didn't use a pattern. I didn't write any notes. So just well, figure she it just out. just gave you the pattern. <laughs> what are the deets on the buttons? Oh, so the buttons oh. on this, if you show it up close, um, they wait. came from uh, a Wooly Mama 2022 advent. She had that as a, like a extra, like an extra goodie. Mm -hmm. I think I have some extra in here too, because I have a couple extra buttons and then she had these bigger wooden ones. So cute. And they have a little full. Oh, those are so good. You know, Love I that. bought Wooly Mama yarns because you talk about them so much. I'm obsessed. But you know, so the shipping from the UK is taking <sighs> so long. Mm -hmm. So I had canceled my clubs and I probably won't order, order again until Advent. Um, and hopefully they'll have, have their shipping problems worked out. Yeah. But I just got a yarn that I had ordered in December. Oh, I just got wow. it because of the shipping problems with the UK. They, their post office They're packed. Yeah. Is it the whole? It was terrible internationally. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, wow, wow. That's so, bad. yeah. Um, so that's, I think, all I finished because I don't bring everything, but I think that's all I finished. Yeah, I, I, think I, I feel I like I might have finished some other stuff. I don't know because. Um, 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 cardigan. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I finished. I talked about that cardigan. Okay. I also finished your baby shower gift. So I had two yeah. baby knits. Um, Kristen showers last weekend, and on my trip to Dallas, I finished a. Uh, baby vertebrae cardigan in a pair of socks go with that. Can yeah, you take a picture so of that cute. when you I'll get home? I'll have to, yeah, get into the Okay, box. cool, because I yeah. didn't take pictures of that. I'll <laughs> probably do a little montage of all of the pictures yeah. from everything I got at the shower from Knitted Gifts. Yeah. It was so sweet. So, so much stuff. So two baby sweaters I finished. Yeah, yeah. little socks. Um, for my baby socks, I didn't follow a pattern, I don't think. 
I believe I cast on 30 stitches. I think I like scrolled through some stuff on Instagram and found like 32 stitches on some and 30 and like I cast on 30 stitches and I did like a rolled cuff so I knit for like an inch so it would roll and then did a heel flap and gusset across the back 15 stitches and then I just made up like I made the numbers work for the heel turn <laughs> I did make notes and then I think my total sock ended up being three and a half or four inches in length for the foot for the foot yeah and yeah I, baby babies have I like I remember I think goals. I made notes about when I started the toe because I intend to make more of them so um I believe I have They're a lot of so notes in that project tiny. page because mm -hmm. uh, I was trying to like kind of grade it up so I would know what size I want to make socks for every sweater I make for the baby that way she has like a little set. So I was trying to prepare for that. But she they came out really spoiled. cute. She's rotten. Yeah, my mom's like, you're gonna have a little fashionista. She's gonna be a little diva. And I was like, no, cause I'm not, it's gonna be fine. And she's like, you don't start out your life with this many clothes and not love clothes. <laughs> I was like, mother. She's not <laughs> wrong. She did get a lot of really cute yeah. clothes. Yeah, cute. Um, yeah, so that's the last thing. I think that's everything I finished. I really yeah. am, I don't know. What is, um, I think we podcasted the last time on like a Wednesday. Yeah, I don't remember. And it's only been like a week and a half. And then you went to Dallas, you know, yeah. so. Which you went like 30 minutes away from me. And I don't know why we didn't like, hey, let's meet up. I know. I didn't have a car. I was with my dad. Oh, yeah, yeah, drove. Yeah, yeah. So like, okay, okay. okay. I, Cause I almost texted you and I was like, I'm not, I don't have time. Like I didn't even see some of my other friends that live in the area, like cousins and stuff. Mm. Cause I just didn't have time. I saw work is work. the people I stayed with. That was it. But I intend to go back soon and I'll plan with you. I just um, hit my move goal for the day while I was knitting. Love that. Yes, let me. Yeah. We all, <laughs> Same. Yeah. We're mm -hmm. so active. Look at us go. Um, so that's it for FOs. What about whips? What are you guys working on currently in your hands right Basically, now? What are you knitting right the second? <laughs> right the second. Um, I'm knitting a breeze racer bag for my mom. Um, the I'm fading it. So the bottom are kind of like skeins of yarn where I'm like, ooh, I've got too much dye, so I'm gonna throw a mini skein oh, I in. I love that. Yeah, and yarn mop. Yeah, they are <laughs> yarn mops. And so I had one, and then I tried to fade it, but like my fading- It looks great, I think. It looks really oh, good. Thanks. I actually didn't know, I was like, is that like one skein? How are you doing that? And it's, it is, it's fading, that's great. It's a fade, <laughs> um, an unintentional, yarn accidental. And then the rest is in, oh, yeah, it's the exact same color. Love. Um, this You're is icicles. Like a boob. <laughs> it's my third one. instead of a third eye. It's a I have three icicles in my stash right now. Do you? The Love for it. a mohair sweater. Oh, uh, well, this is icicles, but I'm making the breeze racer bag for my mom. She already so has cute. one, but she wants another one. Yeah. Who's the pattern designer? Is that that's Jessie Mae? Yeah, yeah, we love her. Love her. We yep. got a lot of Jessie Mae on this podcast. Dogs. We do. <laughs> yup. And uh, Macy just filmed an episode after a really long time, and she I had a, so much knitting in that episode. Took so an eight really month good. break. I could have <laughs> good. had a baby yeah. in the break. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Careful what you say. No. no. <laughs> People are like, "Where's the baby?" <laughs> No, I took a, I took a long ass break, but um, I did finish a, a washcloth for my dad in between them. Nice. But um, all his words were that uh, it takes forever to, for the soap to come out of it. So I guess <laughs> I guess that means it works. Yeah, that's good. I suppose. Um, I have started, what are you working on? This is I just cast this on today. This is the Eyelet Burst Shawl by Stephen West. Um, I'm in the middle of a row, which is so stupid of me. I just stupid. bought this yarn today, so I'll show the rest of it in acquisitions. But this is Malabrigo I'm doing, and my first color is water green. This is the sock base in water green, and this is the Stephen Wash shawl that just came out like a couple of days ago, and I wanted to buy some yarn from Arkansas Yarn Co. while we were there today, so I purchased four skeins of Malabrigo, and I'm very excited. Show them. Do you have them all? I'm going to show them in acquisition. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, I just gotcha. bought them. Gotcha. Um, I will show the fade, because Jess did put together the fade, and it's amazing. Um, yeah, and I'm using a US 5 needle, which I think is what the pattern calls for. I just it's really, really like the gauge. Yeah. You're using a 5? Yeah. And, and this is fingering weight? I'm very loose. I'm a very loose knitter. <gasps> gotcha. You have this memorized already? Or is it you already? Oh, okay. Yeah, absolutely. It was super quick. Mm -hmm. It's literally like, I mean, knit the knits and then the eyelet on the eyelet side on the right side. Like you Your just... stitches are literally identical yeah, all they're around. Perfect. Yeah, It's just have to look at it. It's rude. It's rude. <laughs> anyway, we can move on. I have more whips. Do you want me to just finish it out real quick? I, I have two more. whips right here, too. Cool. So this I have the only thing I brought <laughs> on the road trip. I have um, a sock that I started. Last time I showed you guys the oh, yarn um, in the skein. So and then it's from Knitterly Things. The colorway is to Yarnfinity and Beyond. And the pattern is heel toe do, -si -do. 
I am past the gusset. I'm just on foot and they're gonna be a gift for Maddie. <gasps> the second pair that I knit for you, I think. I'm gonna cherish Wait, that's them. it? Yeah. I yeah. thought you've knit so now many she more. knits for okay. me. <laughs> I don't knit for her, it takes me way longer. That'd be like so much, you know. Maybe she has the gift so is more many, meaningful. But yeah, I was like, th I, this yarn, I was like, this is kind of a Maddie color because you have one that's similar to this it. by Sandy by Those are my and, favorite. Yeah, those are like my beach ones. Yeah, mm -hmm. I Wait, really like that. Golden Hour? Yeah. I have it too. I love <laughs> that sock set. Was, I, when I saw that sock set, I was like, that is so you. It's so pretty. Because she's like, am I going to gift it to someone? I was like, no. You're gonna keep it yeah. for you. And you have a matching bag. It was such yep, a lot of I've it. got the same I remember one. when yeah. I got that too, because I was on a trip with my husband that weekend. It was very early COVID. And we were mm -hmm. at a cabin in the woods by ourselves because we were trying to get away. And we went on a hike and I fell. I slipped on a wet rock and busted my ass. Mm -hmm. and then, like <laughs> that Sorry kind of laughing. fall where you can't breathe. Like I know it oh, was horrible. That was like a, a like a few months of like you fell on your ass constantly. I was, but that was not COVID. Oh, it was awful. And I went home. I just uh, stayed in my bed yeah. for like two days. And then I went to work. Um, and I remember just like sitting in my office chair. And then like in between my interviews at that job, I would just like lay on the floor. Because it hurt. I would just like get from behind. I just lay on the floor. And my boss was like, are you? I was like, don't talk to me. Yeah. Oh, God. And I just so vividly remember. Me. And that's why I associate with that skin of yarn is that pain. No, I, so. Still love socks though. My partner had his laptop open and I had my laptop open. And I was like, Sandy by the Lakeside stuff, like it sells fast. We're yeah, doing I can't it. believe so I got it. We both had our laptops open, like refresh, refresh. And we were both checking out in his cart. Like when he checked out, it was like, uh, we're sorry, this item is no longer uh, available. But mine went through and I was yes. like, yes. And so I just remember like <laughs> celebrating that we got it. You know, Heck yeah. We used to get a lot of bags by um, Mountain State Mountain Stitches. State Stitches. Yeah. I, was, I was not strong enough to Those do it. Cut she broke. had to do it for me. I always got I was like, her. I'm having anxiety fits and I need you to buy me the bag. Dude, I literally <laughs> got to the point like I had to back off buying them though because I would post them on Instagram and I got them and I would get like mean DMs. People would be like, like stop talking all the bags you have enough. Let other people get them. <laughs> and I was like, first off, people were if I get there first. So sweet and, and like jokingly. No, some of them were not. Oh, like, no. <laughs> and some people were like, yeah. like Bethany and some yeah. people were like, leave some of the rest of us. And that, but there were some that were like, literally like pissed mean. at me for buying them. Yeah. And I'm like, just be better. Be faster. Be I used faster. to, I used to do that to a girl who would make, uh, like, what is this material? Not enamel. It's, uh, what's the clay? Resin? Oh. No, the clay. clay. Polymer. Yeah. Polymer. Yeah. Polymer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she would do updates and I would buy them. And yeah. then she was like, ha ha, you're always the first one to get them all. And I was like, oh. Uh, is that, like, like, Jenny said that to me, but not in a bad way. Jenny was like, I'm always so impressed. Like, you're always top couple And I'm people. like, should, should I text me not? and be like, get your phone out. Let's do this. And I'm like, do it for me, please. I will give you money. Just please. I can't. I can't handle it. Our collection got <laughs> really big. Her bags are incredible. Now I'm leaving yeah. some for the rest of you. No, there, yeah. was, there was a stitch marker that I had wanted so bad. And, like, I'm blanking on the name but it was a hamburger but it was a cat oh, so and you i was working a shift and then like the update was going live during the shift so i had texted sis and i was like okay you you're not gonna understand but you're gonna have to be on the website like 10 minutes before it goes up yeah. and you're gonna have to refresh, 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 refresh. and i was like no matter what you do don't browse don't do anything add a share card and check out do not immediately please. do not blink yeah i was like pre-create an account <laughs> put all of your information in and she did it and she got me and she texted she was like i got it and like the whole shift yeah, i was, was like that wasn't that hard checking my phone and i was like oh my god did she get it did she get it and she did get it oh, but amazing it. those the things uh, we do yeah, I know. Funny. And I'm like, I've used that marker like once because I'm like, I don't want to break this $45 stitch marker. And I'm like, $45. Did you get it from Little Bitty Delight? Do you remember who it was? I remember it was expensive. It was expensive. Little but Bitty like, Delight says the expensive Pro one stitch. Yeah, because they're like handmade. Yeah. 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 I don't remember what it was, but it was literally, it was, a, so it's heavy. Ridiculous. It's a clay hamburger, but it's mm -hmm. like a, it's a cat that body. That sounds like Little Bitty. They're so good. Oh yeah. my, it's amazing. Yeah, and creative I, I need but it. she doesn't sell like that anymore. Um, she's from Australia, so mm. it would be expensive there too. Oh, no, no, this was not a United States company. Oh, oh man, yeah, so it was Richie, but she I hasn't know. sold like that in years. Oh no, this was yeah. like during COVID. Oh, okay. Well, not during COVID, like right before. Mm -hmm. But that's so funny. Okay. It's worth so it. Stressful. Some updates are worth the uh, stress. Yeah. Not, not for me. Two more whips. Do it. Oh yeah, I have one. <laughs> I um started oh, peanut butter my, jelly time these are my peanut butter and jelly socks this is a sock set from kimber's cozy creation look at this freaking stitch marker um i think she still has these in her shop it's a little jelly and there's one in here too that's the peanut butter 
So this oh is my god, set. it came with two? It came with two. <laughs> Wait, it's like a Why legit... Why did I think you got a, strawberry? You I got grape. I got grape, yeah. So the set was two fifties, the peanut butter and the jelly, and you can pick grape jelly or strawberry jelly. Shut up. I know, I know. I don't think the peanut butter is in here. Did y'all ever eat goober grape? Yes. Yes. I would, mom would keep it in the kitchen it's cabinet. Like a striped one? Yes. yes. My mom would land us that. She thought it was disgusting. Oh, wait, loved it. It was. <laughs> and I loved it. And like, you could just get a spoonful. No. That's what I was thinking no. of. Yes. <laughs> Those are your goober grape socks. They're my goober grape socks. I love them. Canvas the best. She says there was also a bag option that you could get in the bag with like a little picnic basket. No, it was that's so, so cute. cute. I held back from that because I was like, be good, be good. I've had this for ages. My friend Jen got it too, and she cast hers on, which made me want to cast mine on. Um, but I'm doing shorties. So I was just about to yeah. say, I see I'm on the toe. Yeah, yeah, I'm on the toe. I'm doing shorties. I'm going to cut in an afterthought heel. Wait so. a second. Are those for your feet? Yeah. That's long enough? Yeah. yeah. I'll cut in the heel right there. They always look so short, but they stretch yeah. so much because yeah. of her gauge. Yeah. They'll stretch Oh, oh okay. The yeah. heel's going to add in like two and three inches, quarters. Yeah. And They'll be good. See, I just knit my first pair of shorties, so I'm still like in the. Yeah. Um, I do about, I think this is 64 rows on the foot between the heel marker and when I started my decreases, and that's about good. I'm a nine and a half. Oh, God, that's your. Okay, they're like shorties. Yeah, they're shorties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shorty that's shorties. shorties. That's okay. Heel marker. So, yeah. what's the like definition of shorty? Like, are, are these that's considered a shorty. what? I, we call that every length like, sock. That's yeah. like a short boot. Like, if sock. it covers your ankle, it's not a shorty. No, I, I think that's a shorty. You. Like that's not a full calf length sock, you know. That's like that's an ankle sock. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if there is a definition. When I do shorties, I like them like short, like not no shows, but like short. Yeah, yeah. like jersey is like, more of a no. Jersey is a no show. Yeah, yeah, yeah I sure. feel like those are meant for vans, mm -hmm. and then like shorties are meant for Converse. Yeah, yeah. or tennis shoes or yeah, sneakers or whatever. Like, you yeah, like, yeah. I just I really like when I wear a lot of the shorties and I don't knit as many, so I'm trying. I knit a lot for myself this year because. I like them a lot, and um, I'm also like trying to just reduce the amount of leftovers I have, which doesn't work as well with shorties. But um, my mom doesn't buy as much yarn for herself, so she's getting my leftovers of like everything lately. Mm -hmm. I'll knit my socks and then give her the rest, and she can knit her own socks out of it. So perfect. Do you have another one in that bag? No, I have my outline tee though. So do I. Well, we'll show that. Let's do that. So these are our other Jessie made products, which are for the Arkansas Yarn Crawl this summer. It is the I, want to, I call it the sponsored sweater, but it's not sponsored. Oh yeah, I don't We're know exactly. We're all going to knit them. Lori, Arkansas Yarn Crew kind of organizes it, but, um, and then we do pictures there, but everybody knits the same sweater. And this year we chose the outline tee. And um, tank. Or the outline. So you can do yeah. the tee tank or the raglan. And then it's like everybody just has a garment with the same like stitch pattern. And I love Jessie Mays for it because they're so size inclusive mm. that they work for everybody. And they're like, yeah, from beginner into like advanced. And she does that like pay skill you can do. So they're just very attainable patterns. Right. They're really, really good. And sis, the sis and I are not going to be here during that because <laughs> she's getting married. But we're also. <laughs> Still come. We, we Hi, bought. Dude. Yeah, sis, let's go to the. <laughs> I met you. Your sis, you can come. <laughs> we bought yarn to make that so we will be wearing them it's but we just want to get our facetime you and hold you up in the picture <laughs> yes so this is mine i'm using sinful yarns i don't remember my colorway it's c's something about the c's something about it screams you is it seven c's hey there's cash in here I love, that. love money blue obsidian blue obsidian there we go sinful it's a simple yarn oh simple yarn. i was like what are you talking my bad. about and i'm doing um, mine in cascade heritage in a color that's just called numbers Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep. That's um, not fine. I've never felt a yarn before. It's fine. This is, that the heritage feels, is nice. Yeah. This feels good for and commercial. looks exactly like Knit Pick Stroll. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's very similar. It's, it's probably similar, comparable yeah. for sure. It's like a $12 skein yarn. Okay. Um, yeah. It's not, it's not gotcha. fancy. I'm knitting mine on a US 5. I don't know if that's to pattern. Yeah, it is. I'm, I'm on a 5 as well. Cool. Um, I changed out the ribbing for 2 by 2 but other than that... What did you do? I did 1 by one twisted, and Crazy. I had mobius it, and it was 320 stitches. I think I cast on a size 6. You're a maniac. And um, I said, I'm not doing that again, because I was 3 rows in, and I just twisted it back. You can't even tell. Yeah. I was fine. 3 rows in. You cannot see that at all. So I was like, whatever. <laughs> I'm, I was so mad, too, because I was like, no way. I checked that 5 times, because yeah. I'm very nervous about that. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no, I've messed it up. I did something wrong. And eh, I just twisted it back. It's fine. And it's in my hey, um, okay. Fangirl Fibers bag. With all my evolutions on it. It got um, a glowing review from a child at the yarn store today. It did. <laughs> so cute. I love that from Kate. 
Pete. No, not from Pete. Oh, was from a different child? child. Yeah. I mean, she was like a maybe eleven. Oh, I didn't yeah. see the child. The, the end. Yeah. I know which one. Yeah. Yeah. She was like that one's Vaporeon and that one's. Sylvia. I love it. I was like, yes, it is. Which one's your favorite? Because you know, I'm. I'm obsessed. I love it so I'm much. Mine's in a bag from my mom, Kelly E. McD, on Instagram. And this is my favorite bag that I have of hers. It's coffee all over. And I love it. Mine is also living in a <gasps> Maddie's mom bag. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, I was surprised gifted this when we went to knit night. And I love it so much. And it's reversible. And um, since can I see yours? Uh, she also gave my sister one and she's using it, but she just tossed it up here oh, it's so and good. it's like it's so sunflowers cute. and then it's turquoise. She was actually using yeah, it today. They're reversible. With All the my mom's bags out. are reversible. And these straps are the stretchiest, most boing. Yeah. They're recycled t-shirts. I love the straps. that. Yeah. This is zero waste family. <laughs> yeah, we are. We try. Minimal waste, not zero. Y'all, yeah. yeah. I got to drink one of Maddie's lattes. Phenomenal. Oh. Made by Maddie Lafayette. Say more. Say more. It was amazing. <laughs> Say more. And <laughs> keep going. She also gave me a bag of her roasted coffee beans. And I am going to be on cloud nine when I get home to my grinder. <laughs> so excited. Big white bag that says Mexican. <laughs> so yeah, it says Mexico. And that's where they're oh, from. Mexico. Okay, I was like, it says Mexican. And I didn't tell my sister what it was and I pulled it out. And she, she went like, a date from one of those bags. That's a... <laughs> Handed me and was like, I yeah. forgot to get this to you yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> I handed it to you suspiciously. Yeah. Oh my god, well, it smells so good. Right? Oh my gosh. Oh, they're amazing. I didn't want to make a big deal out of it because Lori and Jess would have been mad I didn't bring them. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. So they don't watch funny. for five. Only Anna watches us. Hi, right? Anna. Hi, Anna. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's Ugh. great. I got my hair a mess. I'm touching my hair again. Ah! I stuck in your world. Yeah, it's in my buttons. Okay. My brows are so cute. Um, do we have any more whips? That is all of my whips. That's all I brought. I have my Frank shawl. I didn't touch it, so I don't make it count. I I have my brioche socks. <gasps> did you show your shawl? We just showed your shawl last time. Oh, the other, the oh my right, oh, yeah. I, was, yeah. I, I wasn't sure. I didn't remember. I block that. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Finished my brioche for last time, so that was an F O then. And yeah, my brioche toe up socks I didn't bring. I haven't touched those. I need to. Wait, are yeah. you knitting the brioche toe up as in like the same leg warmers that show this knit? No, they're not leg warmers. The pattern is called brioche toe up socks. I don't remember the designer. Uh, I've knit them once before. They're like the black and variegated. Okay, gotcha. Ones. It's yeah. the same pattern, but I'm doing it in a blue and a gray. Gotcha. They're really, really cute. And it's in that Sandy by the Lakeside bag that I got in that update. Uh, but I haven't touched them, so I didn't bring them. Because I don't want to knit that. I only want to knit stuff for the baby. Me too. Not really. I'm actually done knitting for her. It's okay. I'll take over. <laughs> I was like, she got so much knit stuff and it was all better than what I've knit. So oh, like, shut no. up. Your ones are so cute. <laughs> this is my shawl so far. I finished my row finally. There it's I so am. pretty. I cast it on today. So I'm kind yeah, of Yeah, literally like a few hours ago. Yeah. So I have to do 20 to 40 more rows and then I can start fading in my second color. Love it. I love it. Um, so well, do you want to start showing the rest of your colors and acquisition? Sure. Let me dive Let's in. Let's do it. Crinkle, crinkle. Curated by Jessa. Who yes. Who's Cassidy Knit. Oh, Rasa that's awful. Awesome. I won't do that to you guys. Hold on. Let me get these out of this bag. Um, my shawl. The Stephen West shawl. It's a four color fade. I'm knitting this as a gift. And so I pulled Jessica aside. I interrupted her work day and said, <laughs> sure, she the colors mind. for the person I'm knitting for. I had been staring at the Malabrigo for 15 minutes, pulling them out, looking at them and nothing was working. It was like hideous. It was just like, there's no colors here that fade whatsoever. And I go, Jessica, I need help. And she comes over and Jessica's a freaking miracle worker. What the hell? It looks so good. That's perfect. That is exactly what I wanted. I think it's this one that like ties everything. Kills it. It's so good. So the colors, I think, um, I know this is water green. This is Indicita, I think is how I say that. Is it Indiacita? Indiacita, yeah, mm -hmm. thank you. Um, these two, I'm not sure which is which, but one is Abril and one is Zarzamora. I mean, that's cool. a fun name. Yeah. yeah. Zarzamora, that's a place. It's a street. It's in a San street. Antonio. I love this. It's in San Antonio, Antonio that's cool. Somewhere else. I don't know. So have... this is amazing. I one of these that. is Ultimate Sock. I think. Are they different bases? So Malabrigo came out with a new sock that has nylon, and I believe this one has the nylon. And the yeah, they have the premium sock. Because she asked me, it's like ultimate that. sock. Ultimate sock. Yeah, because <laughs> Jessica asked me, she said, can I switch bases? And I was like, yeah, between sock and ultimate is fine. I can't even tell, but I'm 
yeah, India Tita is the one that's ultimate. So that's this one for sure. And I know it's this one because I already have a scan of this. <laughs> when I caked it up, I was like, that's in my stash, caked. I started something with it and didn't. Yeah, and that is so funny. I'm like, dang it. But whatever. It's fine. I'm glad I bought it. I'm so happy with this Just knit whoever you're knitting this for. Just knit have a matching pair of socks. Like a muscle work? Oh, oh that would be cute. Oh. That would be cute. She would love that. Or like a Sophie shawl. And the one, scarf. wait a second. The one I have is regular. So I'll swap out. I'll do oh. my regular Malabrigo and then I'll say this. This could be socks. This could be socks. Wait, what do you mean it's? It's no nylon. It's the soft base with no oh, nylon. Oh, gotcha. Same so they'll, they'll, different they'll base. be the same base, but mm -hmm. then I have this, and it, it could be socks or so something So you like meant to buy a second skin. Yeah, it was on purpose. I love it. Matchy, matchy. Yes. I love these. That was my first acquisition. Quick crinkle. I don't want to lose my yarn in Macy's room. Yeah. Um. I would give it back. I promise. Eventually. Maybe. Maybe. Love it. Do you want me to power through the rest of them? Yeah, I'll just go. Go for it. Um, I also saw while I was there, I added this to my favorites because Jess told me what pattern she used. The Magnolia tote bag by, is it, who's it by? Sometimes the rabbit app like doesn't tell you I... who did, who wrote it. Or you have to go to like designers others. Yeah, Jessica Reeves, Potas? Potsen? Pot, pot. I don't know the language of origin. I don't know. Jessica Reeves. I would That's Taj. <laughs> yeah, sure. Here's the bag. This is what matters. It's yeah. this. Jessica knit one of these as a shop sample Crocheted. out of, uh, thank you, crocheted out of coastal cotton. Mm -hmm. And they have so many colors of this yarn. And I've been so intrigued by it because I'm almost through my cotton stash. And my stash right now is like kind of a hodgepodge of like peaches and cream from like Joann's or Walmart. Some nitpicks to sheet, a little bit of Hobby Lobby from the I Love This Cotton from when we shopped there. We don't anymore. Um, <laughs> but so I've been looking for a cotton that feels like the Hobby Lobby I Love This Cotton because that one's the softest cotton that I have found. And this feels like that. So I'm very excited. Very similar price point. This is a little more expensive, but I'm fine with that. Also, it's Queensland, which is a yeah, good company. It's Queensland, right? Yeah. So I actually don't know that much about I, them. I don't, <laughs> don't want to say that because I don't know. I, I've had Queensland before. I think it's from Australia, and it's um, it's I've yeah. always had the sheepy stuff, and it's always been good. Yeah. This is from my local yarn store, and I would rather support them than anyone else. So, um, or any local yarn store, and I know you can get this at locals. Anyway, um, that bag needs two of the joining color, which I'm doing the gray, and then three, and there are pattern like instructions on the website for I think it's 20 granny squares I'm gonna make with different combos of those three and then join them all with it's this. so pretty and so I'm gonna use it as like a produce bag farmer's market bag oh, cute I'm really excited yeah, walk around to yeah bag it's so cute <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I live like half a mile from my farmer's market so I walk to it and like and I'll, we have like a local farm stand that's even closer you to really? you really yeah, yeah yeah it's really really and the farm stand's right super close the library. yeah <laughs> I walk by that every day when I yeah. walk my dog that's like three blocks but the farmer's market on Saturdays mm -hmm. where I can get like the the bread and those mm -hmm. kind of things too and from different there's usually like artists and artisans there too Whereas the farm stand, the farm stand is more expensive than the I would go to Bellarmine over anything else because I don't like to be outside. So. Yeah, <laughs> I love <laughs> Bellarmine. They're really, really good, <laughs> and I love everything they do and like the classes, the community work they do. But um, my favorite farm, where I know the farmers personally, know their family, I've been mm -hmm. to their house. Like that farm goes to my farmers market. So, all that to say, that's why I'm buying. You this. need to have like a farmers market photo shoot oh with my that God, bag. Cute. I Just like stand food. by like the thing where it's like all the veggies. I love and it. Good. Yeah. And then have the love Pinterest it a bag it. They're yeah. having their like annual plant sale next month, and I'm really excited because they do that at their farm. Really, really cute. All that to say, new cotton, gonna try it. I think this is seven dollars this game mm -hmm. for a hundred grams. That feels I don't know what Yeah, it's a seven on there. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if that's normal. That feels normal. Yeah. Uh I mean it doesn't seem expensive. I like it. So. Exactly. I'm happy with that purchase. That's everything I bought a reference on Yarnco today. I bought stuff because I'm not stuff. supposed to. I'm naughty, but I did get that yarn from Holy Mama and I'll put a picture in here because it's stunning, so it was worth the wait. I'm so glad it scoot, came. Scoot in. Um oh I'm still on camera. We're good. Um, but, um, I'm gonna put a picture cause it's cute. I really liked it. And I was just like, that's my last one. I was kind of sad that it didn't come and she hadn't responded. And I was like, mm. did it get delivered though? It did. Okay. I was just so happy. But then, crinkle, crinkle. I have this one from Macy, which is going to be a uh, ruffle dress. And the black is going to be the con the contrast. I didn't and then, know that. Yeah. It's, um, that's what I'm planning on for making baby. for baby. And so the black will be the contrast and the ruffle and this the hem. Ruffle that I and then the pink one? this that is going to be, yeah, it'll be so cute. Not the romper. I'm going to do the dress. Yeah, the dress. 
Um, it's all in the same like, pattern. That's gonna be freaking adorable. Yeah. And when she gets cold in that, you can put her in your cardigan. <laughs> exactly. Double it's gonna her. match. It's gonna be so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I also got two more of the Hot Kiss in Surrey, which is your uh, is it full house. Yeah, full yeah. house base. Um, because I was talking to Emily of Delight Knits, who's also from Arkansas, and she was so at the cute. trunk show today. We love her. And um, she was like, Kristen, I knit mine with four skeins, and I used every bit of the four skeins of Surrey, and she is tiny. She and is I was like, this size. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ooh, the math ain't math in there. Like, that ain't, that ain't, that have, I'm not going to be able to do that. Like, I was like, so I need at least two more. So I got two more, and I was like, yay. Thankfully, we so, know the dyer. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. true. I mean, uh, she's like, okay. I did yeah. message her and was like, you would bring more of that. And she was just like, yep, there you go. go. Um, so good. Yeah. It feels so good. And so now it's I so have soft. six and I've purchased them all at different times, but they're held double. So it's not going to be a problem no matter what, because yeah, I'm going to hold, fine. if it looks one darker, one lighter, I'll just hold those two to, together when I'm doing it. Already it's going to be great. mohair nose from touching it. It's Surrey. I know, but I still have mohair nose. I, I know exactly what you mean. I, I don't get that problem with Surrey. I do get that problem with mohair. It's probably psychological. I, I, I just have been like, <laughs> do it. I got nothing. Um, but yes, yeah, so I have two of those to make my um, souffle yes. by... We know her. Hmm. What is that? Uh, Penrose. Know. Penrose knit. Yes. We don't know her, but we no, know her. No, we don't met her or anything like that. <laughs> I was like, what is she? I know her. Okay. And then I bought four skeins of the Malabrigo Arroyo because of why? Why am I doing this? Um, mm. This And Jessa also helped me pick up mine. Hi. Amazing. Oh, yeah. Get in there. What are we doing? Why did I have <laughs> None of my brothers <laughs> believe where I am. <laughs> it's like this it's... crazy Texan took us in their hotel room. <laughs> I'm like, why are you in this random hotel? I'm like, so I got these colors. Help me. Oh, God, them I up. love those. So, um, the plan originally, before we learned what we learned today, was to knit a soldat in a crop. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> um, I'm not sure that's the plan anymore. So we'll see how I feel about that. Um, I've had the soldat on my list for a really long time, but I don't know if I'm comfortable doing that now. And this, I, I literally bought it. I was like, I'm gonna do this. Um, and, it, ooh, baby kicking. Um, <laughs> she, um, Jess helped me pick these out. I think it would be really good in contrast color work. This is all a sport DK, so it has a little bit more yardage than a normal DK. Um, which, yeah, yeah. These okay, two that's why my main yeah. color. Um, which I, I could knit one for me in my size out of just four, but I thought I would knit one for, for the, baby. the baby too, so I got a little extra of the one I knew more of. And I was like, we could match. It'd be so cute. And I could ask Professor Pearl, Nicole, for her math on her. Yeah. She did one for her daughter. And it would be so nice. So but you got, I don't know. this is Crusha Blue. Mm -hmm. And this is Frank Ochre. This is Fuchsia, which I've knit so, so many, many times. times. It's and the same it, as your onesie, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. And I've knit it in almost all of my Stephen West. Yeah. And this one is Plom? P-L-O-M? Plomo. Plomo. Palm. Palm. <laughs> it's palm. Palm. Plus, <laughs> it's palm. Um, but I thought that this looked really yeah. good together. It would have been color worky. Um, what I really end up doing. Yeah, yeah, no matter what. What pattern I decide. And I can pick a different color work crop. I've just always had that one on the list because yeah. I've seen it and I was like, it's so striking. Mm -hmm. And so many people um, at the shop have knit that. So many I've people have knit it. And I think um, Nicole has like several. Yeah, she's knit a lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. and she's knit them all different, and I love them. She had a yeah. Christmas one that I really, really liked. Did she knit one for Matilda? That's what I'm getting yeah, for said, math. Yeah, said, yeah. So, and mm -hmm. then I bought needles, and um, this is for. I bought needles. I forgot about that. I bought cords, four sets of new cords oh for my, my chubby smalls. <laughs> yeah. So I got um, a size two and a half, nine inch, or yeah, two point five. Yeah, three millimeter, nine inch, because I can knit um, baby muscle bra. <laughs> <laughs> I can knit baby bubble bar. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can do what I want to do with them, okay? Don't ask questions. Okay, and then I bought these to replace um, needles that I gave to Jana a long time ago. And I so, thought you already replaced those. No, because they didn't have them in stock oh. anywhere. They didn't have them at the store. They didn't have them on Amazon. I was like, where the heck do I get my needles? And I didn't want to go to the other store, so. What do you knit that big? Hats. Chunky hats. Ah. Yeah, yeah. like the bulky cable yeah. ones. Gotcha. And so that's what I bought today. I spent like Stunning. 200 and you know, $207. Yeah, oh, there you go. Not that bad, actually. I, can, I checked you out. Because I, I haven't, I haven't um, I know, I purchased yarn in so long. Yeah. Me so I was like, that's fine. Time. And I'm happy with my purchases. So. Yep. I I so. <laughs> you bought some stuff. Yay! I did. Oh, I'm, I'm excited, excited for you. I will dump it first. Oh my god, it's um, so pretty. 
I got a sticker. Everybody else has that sticker, and I it finally got says, one. It says, I've never been to heaven, but I've been to Arkansas Yarn Co. Which is the same thing. <laughs> and then I got the world's softest shirt because I'm a tourist. It is very soft. <laughs> and it's uh, the it's Arkansas one. Yarn logo, which y'all know I am not a pink person, but I couldn't pass up an Arkansas Yarn Co. logo shirt. And I'll, like this was the only one that was in my size. It's like a good PJ shirt. That's why I, I wear mine as pajamas because it's so soft. Girl, that would be the most expensive pajama shirt that I would have ever it's had. It's still cute though. It is still cute. But yeah. I'm picturing this with like an outfit. Okay. It's vibing. And then once I wear it with a cute outfit, then it might turn into yeah, a Yeah, mine turned into a PJ shirt. But like, it would be like the kind where you're like hanging out with friends and you're like, these are cute pajamas. Mm -hmm. like, it would be that one instead of just underwear. Okay. And then I got five skeins of this. So in the five skeins, this is an Easter colorway, which I mean, I'm guessing it's Easter or maybe it's just a spring. It's called O oh, for Peep's Sake. That's and cute. this is my second spring where I can't eat peeps. Because uh, peeps aren't vegan. Wah, wah. Mm -hmm. And I love peeps so much. And so this is like my way of eating peeps. Because I miss I love them. It. But these colors are good. Aren't They're they so funny? She um, did one Easter collection where it was all chocolate bunnies, and we were so sad because it was brown. It was all brown. brown. I was like, Lori, this is gonna like brown. Like, brown with like happening? dashes of pastels. Like, yeah. No. no. So um, with these, I got um, it's all on the slub base, which is. The Pearl Slub, which is 9010 Super Wash Merino Nylon. And 37 yards, 200 grams. For so Slub, that's I good. didn't need to get five. Oh. I'm glad I did because yeah. I just bought all that she had. So this yeah. is all the same well, dye. If you use one and then some for each tank, that's 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 good. Yeah, you want that's true. five. Right. So um, my twin is learning how to knit. And so she is going to knit herself an outline tee or tank, whichever one we decide. I'm knitting one for me, and then we're knitting one for mom because love our it. birthdays are so a day cute. apart. Uh, Here's we're all going to go out in the town matching. Exactly. Oh my God, love. We're Little July thirty first, and mom <laughs> is August first, so we're all going to have matching. Yes. And mainly, it's my first out of state trunk show, so I'm like, we have to get. It's like a souvenir. It's a memory. Exactly. Absolutely. Absolutely. So cute. So that's what I got. It's gonna be fun. And I tried so hard. I was like, you're not gonna get anything. You're not gonna get anything. I can't you're not wait gonna to get see anything. it. It's gonna be really things. cool. But you I'm have to get things. so proud of my twin because she like literally just started learning to knit and she has powered through. Like she everyone did so much on that sock today. Yeah. Like she, can you bring it up here so you can show your show stitch it? marker? Where she was when we got to the store this morning at like ten. And then where she is now. Okay. This she's is also, her second project she's, ever. She's knit a pair of worsted weight socks, and then now she's knitting these. Okay, so do you see like where it like bubbles out? That's yeah. from my cap. So <laughs> this was in the car ride. Then I was like, I'm gonna throw up. Then from here to here was yarn um, store. Yarn store. And then from this one to right here is since y'all been talking. Oh yeah, my god! I know. I know. Oh. Right you did like me. That's a sock. You could cut in your heel and have you a can, sock. Yeah, right you now. You, you could, could start you, a cup. Yeah. I don't know how to do that. So I'm just gonna make <laughs> you just keep going. Too. We'll cut it all. I told her you. that um, if she just knits the whole thing, we'll do act flat everything. Yes. Oh, yeah, just keep going, going forever. Good. And no, 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 no. You started. No. Here's the thing. She. I sent her links to Nitty Natty's video on how to do toe up, uh -huh. cast on. She just sent back a picture. She did it And herself. she did it. Can I, I don't know, And toe it. up is so freaking hard. That's a hard start. Oh my gosh. It's so all by myself. It's not Look at, even, look at her choices. increases. They're, 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 not they're not even three. They're not even. It doesn't matter. Exercise. People do that on purpose. It fits your foot better. Like, yeah. like the longer side's better for your big toe or whatever. <laughs> no, not for no, me. Not for not me. Not for I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> This is um, my colorway tulip on my club base, which is my 8020, which is my favorite base. That's and the then best. this is also her color fairy dust. Like this is a spade base. Isn't that your 7525? That's my 7525. Yeah. But this is too. my favorite 8020. 80 I'm a two ply girl. Um, but this is, uh, yeah, fairy dust on single ply in Surrey. What pattern is this? That is the no frills. I love that. Very really good. Yes. It's not on a two and a half because I, I was like She's every sweater small is needles. on small needles, and I was like, I will not you, knit an adult sweater on a two, two and a half. half. Yeah. I just <laughs> made the um zipper light man or zipper. I want to knit that zipper sweater light man <laughs> men. Something. It's very odd. It's definitely. She's Norwegian. No, like, yeah. the moment you showed that though, I was like, I need 
Dude. And not even to my husband, I want it for myself. No, no so that's cute. what, it's yeah. the man one. And here's the thing, yeah, <laughs> thing. straight up, I do. No, no, really, it fits so much Yeah, better. the oversized <laughs> really vibe, does. yes. No, it, that, like, collar, I was like, oh my god, okay, I'm gonna have to knit a zipper and I'm gonna have to put it in. The easiest, I knit a vest for my dad and I steaked it and uh -huh. then put in a zipper. Freaking nightmare. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then this, it's like, oh, all you do is just fold over your, your collar and like throw a zipper in the side and you just whip stitch it. And I'm like, oh, because I'm in. I'll do that forever. Uh, it took me, to do that do that you forever. literally just knit a long collar and fold that shit over. And <gasps> you you put a zipper in between like the <gasps> creases. I'm not kidding uh, you I wish guys. I had gotten enough of that tweed I ordered from you for it. That would be amazing. I that green tweed. <gasps> do whatever you want. Oh if it's left God. over from the trunk show, it's yours. And like literally I whip stitched it within 10 minutes and I was like, oh my God, I, need I just put in a zipper. I love it. Beautiful. And my brothers would love that. That's the problem. If I, if I knit that for myself, mm -hmm. all five of my brothers would want one. You but it's say, so you give easy. Me the yarn money and I'll do it. <laughs> and then and you give me the yarn and then it's a profit. <laughs> <laughs> I need yeah. to make more stuff. He has a hat too, the, the mm -hmm. baby Yoda hat that I knit for Buddy. Mm -hmm. One time Nate was over there, he was about to go to a football game. Yeah. So I handed it for him to wear at the football game and he never gave it back and he can just have it now. There's people running There's an them. elephant. There's a, <laughs> a small herd of elephants. I oh bet you it's a baseball team. Yeah. Definitely the baseball team. I bought two more things while I was in Dallas. Um, I went to Knit Dallas for the first time because it was the yarn shop that was closest to the convention center I was at. I got a bag for Kristen for her baby shower. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I also got a bag for I Kristen. I do too. I have two, two from Knit Dallas. Two um, oh, snap bags, which are my favorite. And they have like the knit design on them. They're yes. so cute. I got her a pink one. I got her the blue one. Yes. So, and the blue is this exact shade of blue. So I wanted needle storage. I've been looking for new solutions. You got it? I got it. Okay, so this is one of the Delic needle cases. This is for my fixed needles. Oh, oh my god. god, shit, I didn't know it looked it's like a that. Portfolio. And it comes with these little like label like stickers that you label and put on there. Um so it's the needle portfolio, I think she calls it. Yeah. It is amazing. It has a spot for each size, so I have like zeros, one, two, two and a half, on and on. And I love it. I, I literally had all my needles in Ziploc bags with Sharpie written on them. And now oh, they're just nice. like <laughs> so perfect. But she also had them pinned to her. Yeah, they were like pinned up on my board. Yeah. Like they were organized. Oh, yeah. Okay. It just wasn't cute. But this it has the little handle. Uh, I love this. Hold yes, it. hold it as much as you want. It's beautiful. And then I got a case for my chagus because I have like multiples of a lot of the needles and stuff and I don't love the case that they came in. So I got a needle roll from, from Deli Cute. It has a zippered pocket but I have like the needle gauge and the little stuff in. And then it has labeled spots for each needle size. Do you and find that they fall out at all? No, I haven't had any trouble. Oh, and it's amazing. been in my purse because they, this like tucks in and then it rolls really tight. Yeah. Wait, so you have that instead of your chow goo? Yeah, like I put it in here instead. And now I have like these pockets for all of my extra cords and extra needles and stuff. Um, so I bought a bunch of extra cords today to fill out my smalls because I use those the most. Mm -hmm. And so now everything's in here and I can tuck in the extras. And it like, it's just so secure because it rolls right up. Wait, what's the zipper? Um, Just an extra pocket. I have like a needle gauge You're and like the little pins and yeah. and stuff. And it's, I had this in my purse for like four days because I just had it like tossed in my purse while we were traveling and like nothing like, I, I somehow put needles in mine and it's zipped up. Yeah. You know? Like, <laughs> I, like, I don't understand how that yeah. happens. This is not going anywhere. This I love is it. like high. That quality. is nice. Mm -hmm. And there was a. Was this an triple inter digits? It was $50. Yeah. So there's. That's a, it? Yeah. There's an interchangeable needle case that's this material that, like, it's like it opens and it has all the spots and it's like leather or faux leather, probably labels that are like engraved. It was 95 this was 40 so i got this in, or 35 or 40 i got this instead of the 95 dollar one but that one's going on my list because that if i had known that that was going to be at the store i would have watched my spending like earlier in the week and saved mm -hmm. all of my like trip money and purchased the really nice one um these are also available on jimmy bean's wool i checked but i would have believed you if you said this was 130. yeah no 50 bucks 
it's, it's so amazing. nice. It's so Delicue stuff is so good. I might get one of those. Yeah, Delicue this, does the O snaps, by the way, yeah, too. Yes, I just like mine a little bit um, easier. Squeaky and this isn't going really anywhere good. either. Like it's it's so uh, they've both been tossed in my bag and around. I love that. And there's just this solved a need immediately. And this was more of like, oh, I want a different needle case, and but they're both really really good. I love it. I feel like didn't um. Kevin and Ray give away one of these. <gasps> did they? Uh, they? They had like a whole Delicue like they did, they did. like big one with yeah. like a backpack. Which Delicue like, would sponsor us? Oh, we're never gonna get that kind of no, sponsorship. We're, we're too no. crazy. Yeah, <laughs> not with a name like we share needles. No, no, nobody wants to be involved with that. But if you give away, we're sharing. I'm sharing needles <laughs> with these needles. Yeah, yeah. It's it's amazing. Amazing. Thank you. Put our logo on it. That is. Smack it on there. WSN. <laughs> Um, anywho, I love these. Highly, highly recommend this one. Love this too. Bunch of different colors. There was also like, um, fabric ones in like three or four different styles. There's one for fixed needles where there were like different pockets for all the fixed sizes and stuff. So this was the interchangeable needle case. Um, I love it. I'm really, really happy. Wait, before you get off that, have y'all seen the new like Delicue suitcase travel bag? No, I love it. I think that's so what Kevin Ray had. Yeah, I, I saw like they that had at big. Unraveled. Ugh. Yeah, um, it was in store. There's a on, little one, and there's a big. They're like trunk. That bags. was expensive. Okay, the trunk was uh, worth it. Very yeah. well made. But. So Juju Knits, which is my local yarn store in Fort Worth, Texas, my yarn is also there. She has all of them, yeah. like all of the colors. And like the lid of the, it's like an old timey suitcase where it's like yeah, a trunk and it's it really opens. Cool. It's all magnetic. It's really cool. So you cool. literally can throw a handful of stitch markers and it like magnetizes yes. it. It's it is so amazing. Good. It reminds me. It's like that same material. Yeah, my Delicue so nice. Notions box that I have. My friend Jana got that for me for my birthday, I think, a couple years ago. And it's like a little box. The whole box is magnetic and it snaps closed. That is my mm. favorite Notions case. It's a good one for the couch because it's, if it falls yes. over, nothing falls out. I, oh. yeah, I keep it on my <laughs> nightstand by my bed and just kind of like, because then as I'm knitting, I can like toss my coconut stitch markers towards my nightstand and they always land in it. It's amazing. And like my tapestry needles mm -hmm. stick in it. Mm. It's awesome. Oh, scissors is like yeah. magnetized. Yeah, it's all there. perfect. It's like, yeah, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Love those. Very, very happy with that, that one. I know, I love it. Uh, I need more more things like that too. It, I felt really good about it because I wasn't trying to buy like yarn while I was there. And I was like, but that is a need. Like I've been yeah. looking for. I really I, want to I feel one. really good about it. And they have cute colors. They have this really good like sage green. I know exactly um, what like a little, about. they have pink, they had. They, they had, I think they had a mustard and mm -hmm. then like a. Oh, very fall toned and like, yeah. I like it. They have a, like an almost like an army green too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was so good. They were really, really good. I love those. That's everything I bought. Wow. Nice. We did it. Mm -hmm. That's an hour of chatting already. I mean, we did have some craziness. So I'll have to cut out. But <laughs> yeah. the middle. <laughs> I think that, I believe, is that all the knitting? Is that all the knitting? Do we have anything else to say knit wise? That's all of my knitting. I didn't, yeah. this is the only thing I brought on our road trip because I'm doing most of the driving. So love it. That's all of our yarn and knitting so. stuff. So if that's all you're here for, thank you so much for hanging out with us. And we're gonna jump into just chatter and some life stuff for a little bit longer. Okay. So feel free to hang out, feel free to skedaddle. We love you either way. Yeah. And hello, real friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi, the people we love the most. <laughs> if you're still Our here. cherished viewers. Our real friends. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. I love it. Your yarn show. Macy, how are you feeling after your truck show? <laughs> So we um, went to a Mexican food restaurant and we got gigantic margaritas. Mm -hmm. That is how we're feeling. Yeah. Um, great. Celebratory margaritas. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, I got to meet so many people. Not I met people, but then I also got to see like people I already know. Yeah. Like uh, my friend Olga, who drove her happy little ass out here for like four and a half hours away. Yes. <laughs> and then uh, yeah, Emily drove a good long while. Like I. I Lots of nice friends. Lots of nice, nice friends. And then Lori. Yes. New friend. We have phone numbers, so we are officially Right? Friends. Us too. Yes. Maybe yes. I exchanged we're... cell phone numbers, and now we're real friends. We're real friends. I like texting. I'll give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I was like, don't call me, please. Yes. <laughs> we like all <laughs> caps texted. Like, oh my God, we're real friends. Yeah. We're like, I'm at my desk just like texting Macy all day. I'm like, oh my God, I'm talking to Macy. Oh my God. Your contact is a yarn ball at the end of it. I love it. <laughs> group chat with a bad name that's what we yes. do yes. we I have the it. nitty bitty titty committee that's oh my god i love that <laughs> did marietta come up with that yeah, she did. i love that and then what else we have well i have the vamps yeah <laughs> <laughs> what did we change it to it was like very attractive
active bitches. Yeah. But, uh, did you hear about the trend you know babbing. of babbing? Where you're supposed to like rub your coochie pheromones on your neck so, so that like, people will like you attract attracted man. to you. Y'all just like, what? Stop. <laughs> stop it. And it's called babbing. So you're dabbing your badge on your body. How? You just, with your hand. <laughs> you just. And put it on you. And so we were talking about this with our friends, Jana and Marietta, who are 57 and, and you know. Yeah, yeah. that age. Mm-hmm. And, um, and they was were just Jana like. Was Jana the one with the yellow nails? Yes. yes. Okay. And she she was like. They were Marietta like, was the one in the corner. Just horrified. Sure by okay, okay. <laughs> they were horrified, their faces. And then Marietta said, I would smell like a goddamn goat. <laughs> Like whole in the, what eight hours yeah, since nine right. o'clock this morning and it's it's like nine nine right. twenty five at night <laughs> that's twelve hours we're we're friends we're now friends. we're officially <laughs> friends we are uh, we made all the pee we're all friends <laughs> <laughs> I almost pissed myself it was so funny <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna watch this back like, <laughs> so Olga this is her first experience oh, getting to like watch us record and then go yeah. watch it after and like see the two <laughs> angles it's a mess. Yeah, yes. absolutely. <laughs> Amazing. Sometimes Maddie will say to me, like, can we, will we cut that out? Because we're like, that, we're like we can't, that one can't go to my grandma. Okay. <laughs> one time I went to my grandparents' house and they had me on the TV. Oh, no. And they, my grandparents were watching. <laughs> oh my, and then all day I was sitting there talking to them and my grandpa just kept looking at me and going. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was he knitting? No, no he was just making fun of her. And most of my family watches. <laughs> yeah, I have brothers and stuff that. like that. Yeah, it's funny. My brothers all have our merch. They're yeah, really sweet. Now we're here oh. to talk about vabbing. <laughs> <laughs> what a bee. They started it. <laughs> and they've heard she me talk about it already. I think they've, they've known. I think yeah. at least three of your brothers already know about it. Is that, that a brothers. legit thing? It's legit. Yeah, a thing. Google it. Don't yeah. Google it. Don't Google it. <laughs> No, I was yawning. Right? Okay. <laughs> when I laugh really hard and my cheeks start to hurt, I start to yawn. So last weekend I went to Dallas with my dad. We had a work conference. So I stayed with my aunt. 
Um, the conference was really good. There was a lot of free food, and I love that. And lots Ooh. of free coffee, and I love that. Was it at the K. Bailey Hutchinson Center? It was at Omni. Oh, the Omni Hotel. Mm -hmm. I performed there. Yeah, it was really good. And we have like some um, reps that we work with from like our corporate team that took us out to lunch a couple of times. Mm. Good food. So nice. That was really good. I had like the best Caesar salad, mm -hmm. the chicken Caesar salad Where? of my life. Hands and bruise. It was like right across from the Omni. Hands and something. It was like beer and chicken. Oh. Fancy. Hens, hens my, my boss goes there when she's in Texas too. Hens and yeah, it's hens like, and, is it something with red in it? No. Hens and, is it Pens Fest? No. Hands and something or something in hands, but it's just the two words. Mm. It was good. They had like wings and tenders and stuff. Was it like a your your business fancy or you? No, it was it was very casual. Yeah, yeah it was girl. expensive, but it was casual. Yeah, yeah somebody got paid for it, so I was happy. Yeah. There's really one in Arkansas that's called Pig and Chick, and it's not good. <laughs> you don't want to go with Pig and Chick. There's also a gas station in the parking lot down there called Come and Go. Macy was a little surprised by that one. Come and Go. Hops and Hens. Yeah. Hops and Hens. Yes, that's one. Thank you. Thank you. It was really good. It was a really, really, really good chicken Caesar salad. Um, and then the tater tots were delicious too. Mm, so I love a tot. I love a tot. And then my dad yeah, went my to dog. my dad went to SMU um, for his master's degree, so we got to kind of drive around. <coughs> he took me to his favorite bakery called Madeline's, which is my oh. name, Madeline. Um, so we had like a little dessert buffet we made and coffee, and then he, we drove around. And he showed me like where he and my mom lived in the school. And it's always fun, just like I memory lane. My parents lived in Dallas. Yeah, so my mom was born in um, Houston, I believe. She moved around the like, Houston Dallas area. We talked about yeah, this yeah. So we know. Okay, and then yes. my dad moved um, to Dallas for his master's. He got. He went to Hendrix for undergrad and then um, SMU for his Master's of Divinity. So he was up there. And then my mom, that's when he met my mom. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, <clears throat> they were, you're coming with me. And he, brought yeah, her. He, did his, <laughs> he did his internship here in Dallas at a local, or not here in Dallas, there in Dallas at a local church as a youth pastor. Okay, gotcha. Uh, while my mom was in school there. And then they moved down and my dad got his first church. They moved back to Arkansas and my mom finished down at Hendrix. Okay. Um, because they were in that area. Hendrix is in Conway. Um, where I live. Thank you. I did yeah, not know. That's where I live. Also. Okay, gotcha. My brother it's a and private my cousins. And liberal arts school. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> it gotcha. is. And lots of my family have been there. The dorm I lived in is named for my great 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 grandma. It's Ryan Beck. Okay, I was like, I, is it a sheep? Yeah, sorry, it's Ryan Beck. Um, the sheep that looks like a Pokemon. It does. It's cute. It's <clears> my <throat> first Ryan Beck. Anywho, um, that's my parents' story. I don't know why I told that. <laughs> Talk about it. <laughs> and yeah, I drove around with my dad. That was really fun. And then what else do we do? Um, went to Knit Dallas. That was awesome. Did you eat at the really good taco place next door? No. <gasps> I went with Nitty Vicky, Vicks mm -hmm. Knits. Yeah. It was great. We looked at it. I wanted to. We went, so it was like the end of our last day of the conference. We got out a little early, so we went to Knit Dallas, and then we drove right back um, to Arlington to meet my great aunt and her best friend okay, for gotcha. dinner. So we had Mexican food <laughs> in Arlington instead. Abuelos? No, that's very That's popular. her favorite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But those were there. And the next morning we went to a little diner for breakfast that's her favorite in Arlington and I don't remember what it's called but it was so good and we found a coffee shop that was phenomenal Ooh. yeah and it was really really good uh local roast they roasted in-house the vibe and they were so good My dad, was, I'm trying to remember okay I'll um, find it yeah. fun fact about abuelos if you're if you get a kid's menu they give you like raw tortilla dough to play with and mm. it's like play-doh but it's tortilla that's dough. so cute we had I can't remember what I had I think I had enchiladas or tacos, and then we got sopapillas for the table after, and they were oh, so, so good. I wanted to get sopapillas with Las Palmas today. Did they have yeah. that? They had, yeah. they had the dessert ones, yeah. Oh, I didn't see mm -hmm. them. I would have definitely been like, yes, let's split them. Mm -hmm. I love it. I like sopapillas in New Mexico. I'd get them with the hatch chili and eggs, and so it wasn't sweet. It was savory, and it was amazing. And then I had a sweet one for the first time. I was like, that's different, but I also love it. Grounds and Gold Co. I've never heard of that. It's, so it's in Arlington, obviously. They're so good, and the inside is so cool. Oh, they have, it looks they have cute. Like a, a, a big menu. Um, hmm. Their coffee was so good. It looks good. So I had I drink an iced almond latte. It's kind of my go-to drink, and it was phenomenal. And then my aunt and my great aunt said she lives like five minutes from this place. And she's like, oh, I've been wanting to go there. I just haven't had a reason. And I'm like, Rosemary, that is the reason. You want to go wanting there. Wanting to is the reason. She's yeah. like, oh, Penny and Penny's her best friend. They live like three houses down there. Mm -hmm. Well, I love them. Um, and she's like, oh, Penny hasn't wanted to go with me. And it was just, she just didn't have an excuse. I was like, I'm taking you. Aww. And so then I ordered for her, too. And I got her like a white chocolate mocha with cold foam because she's obsessed with cold mm -hmm. foam. 
Um, and she just loved it. It was so cute. So we sat and talked and drank our fancy coffees and she loved it. And I hope she goes back, but loved that. Um, I'm just rambling about Dallas. You're all good. I'm just surprised you've never had a cinnamon sugar soap of Pia. No, I have. No, yeah, she yeah, has. Yeah, yeah. I had yeah, a dessert yeah. kind. Yeah. yeah. I just, before, the only one I had had in before, when I went to New Mexico was oh, the first time. Oh, the, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. And so they were so, they were so good. And I was like, oh, I want a soap of Pia. So I ordered one at, um, Santa Coyote in mm -hmm. North Little Rock with my husband and um, it came out and it was sweet and I was like, oh. Uh -huh. No, different, that? yeah. But it was still really freaking good. It and I was like, it was, I was just like, where's the meat and stuff? Like, I was like, I don't understand. And he's yeah. like, have you not had them before? I was like, not like this. Like, <laughs> There's an <laughs> ice cream shop by us that has Sopapilla cheesecake ice cream. Yes. Mm. Uh, I love Andy's it. needs to get on it. Mm -hmm. I need some Sopapilla and Andy's. <laughs> Drill me and fill me. Chocolate. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and I'm like, that shit illegal. Whatever you just said. Oh, like, Jerry. Oh, Jerry. I'm like, like zooming away. <laughs> She's like, why? Why did you say? I was like, you know, I say things like that. I'm sorry. It felt wrong. It was like your brother's friend, dude. We're just like, mm. yeah. So I'm like, well, she didn't uh, mean it. Didn't mean it. No. Like that. No. Oh, it was a lot. So funny. Uh, but then I came right back into town, <laughs> and the next day was Kristen's baby shower. Which yeah, was so fun. So if you so can nice. enter some pictures if you want to yeah. of the knits and stuff. You Absolutely, got. I have a picture of all of my friends holding up the knits that they made the baby, which was amazing. So I'll put that picture in here. Yeah. And um, yeah, it was it was really cool. It was stressful. It freaked me out. I don't like that kind of attention yeah. in real life. I'm like, mm. so oh. you know, watching like 30 people like staring at you while oh, you I open presents. That. Yeah, that's. Terrible. Did you Good notice I was that. not looking at you when you were opening yours? Because I also no, hate that. it's so oh. awkward. Oh, yeah, that's all the knits she got. It's so cute, and that doesn't mean you, you guys, guys are seeing yeah. this too. Wait, have cool I met thing. all of them except them? They Jen, look Jen familiar. Jen is from Alabama. Jennifer, I don't think you've met her. Lindsay was at knit night. Yeah, I know. There, she was the one who saw me at Fiber Fest yeah, yeah, with Dried Slobber, and I was like, <laughs> erase that memory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So adorable. Um, she hasn't finished it. Oh, okay. she hasn't it for me, but she yeah. hasn't finished it. Okay, yeah. yeah. And Lizzie hadn't finished the blanket yet too, so yeah. she's like, "You'll get that later." That is so um, cute. And then obviously Jewel the wasn't there, but she knit me the love note, which yeah. is so sweet. I love your dress too. We also okay. Thank I have you. another package. Walmart, I think. Nine dollars. I think really? we're gonna. Yeah, so I love. Cute. I just shop in the teenager section too. So <laughs> you're cuter. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I do too. I was like, whatever. Absolutely. Cute. I have another yeah. package of a present from you for Ryan. Mm -hmm. I think I'll go ahead and have you open it and we'll just film an okay. insert if you're cool. That yeah. way we can just I'm put cool it in. It. Then you don't have to wait two more weeks to open your present. Yay. Um, so <laughs> you'll see that too somewhere. But um, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that was really cool. So yeah, it was, baby showers are weird. Parties are weird in general. And now I have a room full of stuff that I can't even walk into, which has all of my yarn stuff in it. So like my winder, my swift, my blocking mats, my pins, everything that I have in a closet that was in our guest room is now blocked by all of the furniture and stuff from my um, baby shower. <laughs> so, um, yeah. But it was really fun. It was really fun. And people came. And I was like, yeah. Was like, there was a lot of people. It was a lot of people. Our friend Jen came from Alabama. Yeah. She drove up just for it. Oh, So yeah. sweet. We loved really her. Sweet. Captain Pearl. Mm -hmm. My sister held it at her house, which I thought was going to be fine, but there was way too many people there. It was, it was a lot. so crazy. Yeah, it was Wonderful yeah. and fun. And the games are fun. And the food, you had Chipotle. That yeah. was delicious. I love Chipotle. It's my favorite. <clears throat> best food. And um, I had yeah, a catered burrito. Yeah, it's my Chipotle burrito, baby. But that was literally the, who catered my wedding. Like, yeah. I was like, I love Chipotle. Like, I Wait, love Chipotle. Wait, they can do that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, Maybe like, catering. Chipotle was, like, I was like, yeah. And my mom was like, it's so easy. We, we have it at Christmas parties, too. We're just, mm -hmm. like, Chipotle catering. I had no idea um, that. Yeah. yeah, and they bring it to you, and they have all the so heaters much. and stuff. And she's so awesome. So, um... My sister did that, but my sister also has ulcers in her stomach, so she was stressed out because her three-year-old broke his leg the day before. The day like, before yeah. the trampoline. Yeah. In two places. <laughs> yeah. And so now he's in a hard cast, but so he what was like, it's blue. blue. Yeah. <laughs> was like, yeah. I was like, he didn't care. He was mad. He's like, you me up on my <laughs> I'm the Texas version. <laughs> But yeah, so um, it was really fun. It was really cute. My sister did such a good job and she was real stressed out. So she actually had to like watch 
because we had live streamed it to my family in California. Oh my gosh. And they were I playing the that. games and stuff like that. It was so fun. It was. Yeah. I got a prize, a cute little basket. Yeah. It was really cute. I'm going to put yarn in it, yeah. honestly. Yeah, or notions or needles or yeah. hooks. Your hooks in there. Because it's like a stand-up basket yeah, with daisies yeah, on it. Cute. The theme was daisies, like the blanket. Oh, which by the way, we'll put the address yes. in the description box to send the daisy squares to. If you're crocheting daisy squares, thank you so much. I already got one. It's my bag from Emily. Thank you. Um, <laughs> but so yeah, it's so nice. Yes. And so people have asked, and I totally forgot who's asked. You can't do that to me. <laughs> I've answered the one, but I can't remember to answer. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's going to my office. Mm -hmm. So address them to me, Maddie. Mm -hmm. And they'll be there in the address. Yeah, and it's good. So I don't know. That's that's all I have. I might, I've been like not sick, but I've been in like having insomnia and it's been terrible. Mm. But you know, compared to the first trimester, this is easy. Yeah, I'm scared. like, I'll, I'll take insomnia any day. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to be sick again. Like, yeah. I mean, if you do have insomnia, that's more time to knit. I don't knit though. She I hasn't. just try to sleep. She's I know, like, like, try to sleep like this. Do you do the thing? Do you do the thing where you like have your eyes closed and you're like, I am asleep. I'm asleep. I am asleep. This and you trick you your sleep. brain, but then you wake no, up. And more. It don't work. I do the same thing. Yeah, I'm like I'm literally just staring at the wall for like hours, and I'm like, surely you're going to sleep now. Surely it's only been a couple minutes. And then you roll over, yeah. and then you come back, and you're like, it's been three and a half hours. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my alarm goes off in four hours. hours. Yeah. And then is it, that worth it? <laughs> no, and then like when my alarm goes off yeah. and then I hit snooze and it's like that nine minutes is it's like my sleep. deepest sleep Such and then I'm like, sleep. great. Yeah, nine minutes. That's what I got today. Man. Yeah. <laughs> so I had like three hours of sleep last night, which was... Hey, that's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, that was pretty good. I was like, because it had been two days with none. Yeah. So, so fun. And my, my therapist was like, are you anxious? And I was like, no, I'm not. I just can't sleep. <laughs> um, but other than that. That's, that have done nothing. I actually stayed home from work for two days. I had a doctor's appointment. I have another one in two weeks. And I stayed home from work. I worked at home and was like, no, I'm not going to the office. Not putting on clothes today. And it was Mood. great. <laughs> what you got? My email got like hacked a couple weeks ago. I had to change all my passwords. I oh, got like no. all the, you know, you get those alerts from like your credit monitoring service. Uh -huh. whatever. It's like, your info's been found on the dark web. I got one of those. So I've had to change everything. And I just got an alert for like a password reset bullshit thing. So now I have to go in and make sure another account's fine. I yeah. do unenroll me. Yeah. Don't do it. Oh. Every time I've done unenroll me, it's great for like three days. And then all of a sudden I'm getting like all these, like, it looks like somebody just oh. did this on a keyboard. Oh. And then it's like, great. Oh, so right now cool. I'm in the, I wake up to like 38 emails and I just Ugh. delete them all in the morning. And then like by lunchtime, I'm like 56 more. Let me just delete That's them. awful. Yeah. It's not that yeah. bad. It was just like, I got a couple, um, it was like a couple of passwords that I used on multiple things, which you're not supposed to do. Oh yeah. So I had, I'm I had bad to go change it all. And then I just got for like an account, like a subscription thing and it's stupid. And then of course, like for things like Hulu and Netflix, like I pick those and my siblings use them. So now I have to like. Chase passwords. Hey guys, here's the like, update. Yeah. And, oh. I love the ones where it's like, this is from Chase, but it's in like a funky font and it's turquoise. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Not the right color. You're not fooling me. Yeah, exactly. So now I just, every time I check my phone, I'm like, I can. Like, come on, leave me alone. It's awful. Yeah. So that's all it was. Yeah. I was just annoyed. My stupid it. phone. Stupid email. Stupid hackers. Stupid. <laughs> I was about to say stupid balls and then I realized that's I say that because our town puts up these ridiculous Christmas balls that were around it's the holidays expensive. so expensive. they're just like massive and they're Christmas not even that pretty in the middle of our roundabouts and I think they're so them. tacky do they light up no, no. they're just they're shiny just like there. Christmas balls they're so they're like ones. Yeah. yeah but gigantic in a stupid Huge. pile like say three of them on each of them and they're, they're just four yeah, and they're red like, and green and Silver, Silver and I yeah. hate them. So I every time I drive past, I'm like stupid balls. And now I say it all year long. My dad and I both say it. We'll like get mad at me at work, and he's like stupid <laughs> balls. <laughs> I went through a phase in like middle school where I was like, and people would be like, oh sweet, and I would say, oh Swedish fish. Oh, <laughs> love it. Oh, it went on for years. Years. Amazing. So I was about to say stupid balls, and I was like, I'm not gonna get it. But yeah. now you get it. Now you know. Stupid my inside joke with my dad. <laughs> Balls. I like the stupid balls. balls. Yeah, I hate them. They were really expensive. I think they stupid. add a lot to our town. I think the money 
thought you could have added a lot yeah, to absolutely. public transportation. I think that the money was stupid, but now that we have them, put them out. Like the right. balls. We paid for them, put the balls yeah. out. I want them all here. We're getting giant decorative concrete pillars. Nice. For no fucking reason. Nice. Is. Concrete pillars. It's how like, festive. It's like a stacked oh like God. tower. Have you seen the banana sculpture in Little Rock? I have to show Macy. What? Oh, you're gonna be What is this? Hold on. One of the We've parts. digressed. <laughs> I'm literally gonna like, Google Little Rock banana sculpture. It'll be the first thing that comes mm -hmm. up. Okay, so an artist made this sculpture and donated it to a park, but the our, the oh, Little Rock the Parks story. Department. I haven't seen it. I'm gonna show. Okay. The Little Rock Parks Department posted about it, and people are livid. They're like, "This is what our tax dollars are going to!" Like they're so pissed. But like, but the they artist, donated it. The artist donated it and donated the cost to install it, so it was no tax dollars. Um, but when you see the picture, you'll understand why people are mad. <laughs> Okay, wait, do y'all have like a is banana farm? No, yeah. we're rice people. This is rice country. Oh. Look at the feet. Oh. <laughs> it's a roller skating banana? <laughs> but he's not in the banana, he's an empty <laughs> peel. Look at his feet. He's an empty peel. Where's his banana? It's not in there. <laughs> Look at the toes. No. Wait, are we going to pass that on our way home? How big? <laughs> no, it's like in a park. <laughs> Here, oh, Olga. Oh. How big? Big. Yeah. Like bigger than a human. <laughs> Big. They just put um we're in DFW and they just like installed the like Dirk Nabisky statue and it's like gigantic. And I'm like, we could have had a banana. Those are some grippers. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so I just keep reading the comment section on the Facebook because people are so mad. And I think it's so I don't understand is what's there's the no context. <laughs> There's no It's context. just a happy banana. It just skating. showed up one day. Roller skating banana. He's a little gay. It's not related. <laughs> There's no but, but banana. Wait, they're it's like, a wheel. They're There's roller no sandals. Look at yeah. that. Yeah. They're like yeah. stocks on wheels. <laughs> That's just an old roller skate. That's how they used to Yeah, go. they are. <laughs> but there's no banana. Can we just call them the peel? Because there's, there's the peel on wheels. The peel, peel on wheels. <laughs> Yeah, there's Amazing. no banana in there. That's weird. The, the sculpture's called Honor Roll. I love it. Mm -hmm. Very appealing. I love oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> 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 this is terrible. Uh, I don't think we're going any better than that. Like, that's it. I think we're good. We peaked. That's, yeah. No, we're done. Banana pun. <laughs> I'm glad you have your car. It's in Little Rock. Google Little Rock Arkansas banana sculpture. Uh, and, and you'll be able to read our articles and see the comments. They're so good. And that is on our way home. We're stopping. And we're going to see um, it. I don't know if it is, but we can look. I don't know which park. I think it's in the I bet it's close to Fidel's. <laughs> I don't know park. what that is. It's the coffee, shop. coffee shop. Oh, okay. I'm taking you too. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Amazing. Well, that was a really fun one. I think that's all we have. It's been a long time. Do you have anything else you want to add? Wait, yeah. So in our life segment, we usually update on what's happened since we last saw them. So Mason needs to tell her entire life story. Okay. <laughs> Mason was born <laughs> in 1998? On July 31st, 1997 at 8.54 p.m. Was I 54 or 45? I was born first. Oh, so no. you were 8.45, I was 8.54. They don't need to know that. Now they, they do. do. Yeah. yeah. Someone's going to look up our like sun and moon. You know, <laughs> we're soulmates, so we've already done that. Yeah. yeah. Do you know that TikTok trend where you like put in your the, the sun moons? or the moon from when you were born? Um, I, Chris and I are soulmates. Yeah. We're a perfect whole Perfect moon. match. Yeah. Also, I my husband's moon that. is identical to yours. Yeah. I just looked at moon charts. I like Googled the moon yeah, charts. Yeah, we were both born on the then, same day of the month. Yeah. <laughs> and then I entered. Uh, that's true. Like the night. <laughs> yeah. But you look at moon charts and like enter the dates. And then um, I like saw a TikTok and like clicked to use the template. And it took me to CapCut. And then I like entered both the moons. And it did the thing where it put them together. You just have to like download the. You look up the moons and screenshot them. Uh -huh. And then put it in, and then find out that you're so Yeah, because it merges them together, and yeah, if there's sure. overlap, or if they're like a perfect whole moon, then you're good. It's like yeah. a perfect whole moon for me and you, mm -hmm. like a little overlap for me and Buddy. Mm -hmm. Is it like that little chart in like the Seventeen magazines you would get that was like it would have a heart, a star, or like a smiley face? Yeah. And I it was you... like your crush, and you like put the Probably. birthday month and like your birthday <laughs> month. Is it's it it's more because it's the, the your moon on the day you were born. Yeah, which like is, on yeah. the exact day. On yeah. your exact your exact moon. Like the, so like they chart the that year. you know what the moon looked like. So if you have like a little sliver of moon on the July thirty first. Yeah. So like I didn't do the whole thing, but like that's my moon and that's Kristen's. So, so like, it, oh, it, it makes a whole moon. Yeah. yeah. So like Kristen's the little 
sliver and so I'm a, little spoon, a whole moon. Big spoon. Mm -hmm. Yep. I, I'm just the sliver spoon. <laughs> yeah, that's so nice. I wonder how I would figure that out. Like, you just do you just your Google dates. It. Your dates Google and it tells you moon the moon. chart. No, like yeah. mine, November 24, 1996. And then it popped up. And then I Googled her birthday. Isn't there one where you like put the city and like all that Probably. stuff? And yeah. it, like, the moon's the same everywhere. Yeah. Let me That's for like moon. all your charts and stuff. I just wanted yeah. the moon. Yeah. Let me find my moon. I Wait, think we I can be done. We can be done. Yeah. We'll yeah. find our moon later. Thanks, Thanks for, for staying. Out. It's been fun. Head it's over to Macy. To Macy's games and subscribe to her as well. And check out her trunk show. And if you say anything mean in her comments, I'll beat you up. Yeah. <laughs> be nice. I have new bodyguards. WTF. I have a black belt. <laughs> do you really? Yeah. I have several black belts, mostly leather. Yeah, you do. Have <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Amazing. No, oh, what if we knit belts? Let's do it. Black ones? No, that might not. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, bye. 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 Love you. Wait, oh, yeah, like that way. Y'all haven't seen my toes in real life. Sis. Yeah. You want to sissy your toes? Are you, Are you ready? Gonna, you get to cash out first? <laughs> yeah, girl, get the money <laughs> first. They're not on camera. Oh, um, that's all. Otherwise, say whatever you want. Deal, I won't say fuck, don't worry. Oh, we yeah. do, we do. I will, first wait, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I will gauge my words depending on what words y'all say. Yeah. We usually don't show it until about like, halfway through yeah so when we're talking about our knitting we're usually pretty chill until we start talking about life yeah no.